Hey there, ladies and gentlemen, you all may call me Pharaoh, and welcome to what may be the finale of Let's Play Earthbound. Last time we left off, we basically needed to get the Zetsnite piece or whatever from the meteorite in Onet, and it's been completely taken over by uh, Gygus' forces, by like Ghost of Starmen and these robots and whatnot, so it's pretty damn crappy over there. And I also showed off um, the two easily lo easy level tricks, and off screen I leveled up a decent trick. I, like I said, I leveled up Pooh to 70, so that means that Jeff and Paul went up to 72, 73, and Ness is up to 83. So we're pretty good there. And I went also went ahead and got these pig piggy jellies, because uh, I, I bought one just to see what it was exactly, and it actually gives me 300 HP. So I'm like, you know what? F it. I really don't have items, period, like any health items, so I'm like, let's just get a bunch of those, and I think we're okay. Hopefully. So, let's go ahead and I, I don't know if we have to, do we give the thing them yet? Or do we just go in right there? Oh yeah, yes, I'm ready. Remember, the Phase Distorter version 2 is equipped with two new features. They can repair my biological functions and save my progress. We mentioned that before. Here we go, guys! I... I'm a little afraid, because... Like, I kind of know what's gonna happen, but not leading up to it. Oh, hey, this is a cave in the Lost Underworld! I got confused on what the hell is this all about. Oh. Greetings! So you are finally here! Excellent! You are truly excellent! There's one, only a little time left! I'll give you the last power. I must go now! Who became conscious of PSI Starstorm Omega? Okay, I'll take that. Actually, wait, how much... How much does that take out of him, though? 42. Okay, so they can use it a couple times, but that's quite a bit. Oh, Mr. Saturn. Kidnapped. I was doing kidnapping. Bad guy. Bad guy gone. Zoom. Where? To the past. Ding, ding. Ding, ding. To the past. Ness checked a broken face distorter. There's a horn of life. Okay. Uh. Wait. What do I. What do I do? I mean, am I not supposed to do something here? So he said he went to the past. Does that mean I got... Oh, never mind. Oh, the phase disorder has been completed. We could finish it quickly because Mr. Saturn's incredible scientific skill. Gygus is attacking from our exact location, but he's attacking for many years in the past. So this is like Chrono Trigger. This is very hard for me to tell you, but... What? You must work to the past and fight, but... W could you guys explain? We there too. Doing... Okay. So wait, could you guys tell me what I need to do before I actually go in this thing? Okay, you must warp to the past and fight, but... Okay, so what's... Could you guys explain what's going on now? In order to defeat Gygus, who was attacking from the past, you must warp to the past. This can be done by way of the Phase Distorter 3. However, the machine cannot warp living things. I mean life forms. Life is demolished in the process of warping. The only way to accomplish the time travel is to transfer your brain program to a robot and send a robot to the past. The transfer means that your spirit will go with the robot while your body is left behind. I cannot promise that your spirit will come back after the battle in the past. Yet, you must understand that the four of you are the chosen ones. Do you still wish to face, face Gygus by traveling to the past? You act like we have a choice. Mm. You accept this while knowing that you may not be able to return to your current form, right? Yes. I see. You have really set your mind on this. Let me take a good look at you now. Yes, please give me that red cap. Ready? Stand by. Thank you. 
How are, how the hell they're doing this? Are they like are they straight up doing a brain transplant? Kind of sounds like it, doesn't it? It sounds like a damn surgical buzzsaw thing, and it's just weird that they have kids be doing this. It makes you like all these RPGs, you know that they're like they're like young adults or just kids. It's like you know maybe we can send in the military, just get, like pretend like they're the chosen ones. And, I don't know. But yeah, they don't have like, these hidden powers and whatnot, but... Jeez. Yes, Paula, Poo, Jeff, my son. I forgot you were his son. There's no turning back now. Ness, activate the face of Storter 3 by your own hand. Thereby, I'll follow in your own destiny. Will you do so? Only a few people know of your amazing courage, but the number of people you saved through that is bravery is immense. I feel very fortunate to be present at the beginning of this monumental undertaking. I guess this is it, ladies and gentlemen. Alright. Here we go. We are in the past. As robots, and he actually put the cap on on the robot. That's cool. So yes, this is definitely the end of the game. This I'm semi familiar with, at least the way that they look. I'm not sure how it's going to be leading up to it per se. I don't know if there's any enemies, but I know how. To, like, well, never mind. There, there they are right now. Uh, I'll just see. Oh, shoot. Okay. The ultimate Octobot. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to destroy this ultimate Octobot first. Now, here's the bad thing. I really don't know if I want to use any PP, so... I am gonna be, unfortunately, using, um, only weapons and bashing right now to kill because frankly oh great frankly I'm just not sure how they stole a bottle well, that's actually I don't think I needed that too much I hope not but I just don't want to waste any PP and I this is like the only thing I can think of into doing I'm hoping that could you stop doing that I'm just hoping it won't be too 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 bad no oh my god he's stealing our our stuff. That's not very good. We'll give this one more turn. If, if I feel like it's not really going anywhere, then I might have to use... There you go. There's a smash. I might have to use some PP now. Okay, here we go. Like, there's like a sense of urgency. Like, you know, I'm, I'm getting... Oh my god. Like, I'm getting close to the end of the game, but it's like... Uh oh hold on a minute. Go quickly, quickly, quickly. There we go. So I'm getting close to the end of the game, but I'm like worried exactly what's going to be, what's going to be waiting for me, or like how things are going to end up being. I know it's what's going to end up waiting for me, but just leading up to it, that's what freaks me out. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, give that to Jeff. Never mind. Never mind. And I, I wish I could avoid these enemies, but it really doesn't look like I'm, I'm able to, so... And actually, I'm kind of glad there's a wild and wooly shambler. I have no idea what that is. We're, we're gonna use a little bit of PP here, because I am worried about at least the ghost, because... Simply of that, he can do Star, he can do star Storm as well. So hopefully just using Freeze Beta will tack on a decent amount of damage to him. And Ness, that's what I was afraid of. That's the that was like the one thing I was afraid of and he, he went ahead and did it. So close too. Fire to beam. Okay. I'm hoping, I'm hoping. Oh wow. I got very lucky with that critical hit. Paul's on level 74, offense by 1, HP by 3. 
PP by two. Oh, God in heaven. Okay. How much does this cost me? 24. Max stop, max stop, max stop, max stop. Okay, we're good. How many more of these damn enemies are there? Oh, my God. Like, I need this guy to go down quicker. I really do. So, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to bump up the, the attack. I really... I really don't want to because I know what's coming up and I know what I gotta save up for. So, I probably should have gotten items that... Oh, why'd you have to freaking miss? I probably should have gotten items that... That healed up, uh, freaking. I can't speak. But he uh, gave me some peepee, -pee, honestly. But oh, thank, thank you, thank you for that. So now we just gotta worry about this butthole. He's on blow up. Oh, not yet. Okay, here we go. Here we go. I probably should do auto fight at that point. Quickly, 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 quickly. There we go. We gained 25,000 experience. That's fine. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, this is fine. Let's, let's do this. And get that. I could probably, you know... Uh, go back and forth to get more of these magic butterflies, but I think once is good, good enough. And I probably should cut these enemies out, or cut these battles out, but this is probably the last time we're gonna really be here, uh, really facing enemies, so at least I think so. So, you know, why not? Why not? I'll, I'll leave the battles in, because I said this might be the finale, so it might there might be a lot of things going on here. It might be a long episode, so enjoy while it lasts. Did not work, thank God it didn't. And honestly, of all the months that I took off the game, I mean, I, I was semi-close to beating the game from where I last left off, you know? Oh, thank God he didn't steal anything. So, it, it feels kind of surreal. I'm beating the game. Well, hopefully. Let's, let's not jinx myself here. Oh. He's, oh, man. I, I saw a good chunk of enemies to the left there. Oh. A squatter demon? I don't know how bad this thing is, but, uh... Hopefully not too bad. Please, not too bad. Okay. He dodged. Oh, so he killed in one turn. Just by bashing and using a sewer bazooka, so that's not bad. Level 73, office by one, speed by one, and HP by two. I'll take all the, all the stuff I can get. Whoa! Yeah! This is probably it, then, ladies and gentlemen. If there's that many, then I'm gonna go ahead and assume. Oh, thank you! Not thank you, Ness. What the hell? Uh, uh oh, oh, psychic. That's fine. There you go. Seriously, I, I got I got a nice critical, but then like, there's always pays off. Uh, like there's always a payoff. It's like, well, you know, you got oh damn. And so you got a smash, but that doesn't mean that Ness is gonna hit. <laughs> okay. So there's a couple of those bastards down. A legendary bat. Hello! Let's see here. Wow. I'll take it. Thank you, game. I'm, I'm gonna have to. I don't think there's any way I'm, I'm gonna... I can't sneak past those bastards. At least a decent thing is, like... Nah, what, what was it? I had a word in mind that, like, it was decent, like, it wasn't gonna be too bad, but... Now I'm starting to think about it, I'm like, well, is it decent? Oh, well, okay. Two criticals at once, that's fine. And actually, I guess it doesn't matter. Um... I don't know. Like, this place looks semi-familiar. Oh, of course he dodged it. And, of course, he maxed out again. 
As long as it's not, it's not hitting me, because it's, it's already going to hit hurt me pretty bad when it blows up. Which should be right here? Nope. Oh my god. <laughs> I probably should- I probably should have gotten- or somehow leveled up even more- well, actually, no! I mean, his speed stat is only- is only gonna go up so high. I'm talking about Ness, but... There we go. Level 84. Offense by 4, defense by 1, speed by 1. I need that speed. Guts by 1, vitality by 2, IQ by 2, luck by 3, HP by 24, PP by 19. That's awesome. We'll pull level now 79, 71. Offense by 3, defense by 2, vitality by 1, IQ by 1, luck by 1, HP by 12, HPP by 4. Great. And another set of battles. Why not? Oh boy. Okay. See, this is... Yeah, I'm, I'm, going, I'm going to have to simply because I don't like that bastard using... Uh, I don't like him using, uh, that star, uh, the thing. Star Storm, that's what it was. And he still did it. Oh my god, Paula, Paula! Oh shoot, Paula. And Jeff. Wow! And he healed him back up, that's... Paula got hurt. Yeah, I'm gonna need her. Mate. Uh, Jeff. Jeff. No! This is... This is bad. I, I don't... I could kill that nuclear robot, but then it's gonna blow up on me. So that's what I was trying to avoid. Um... I need, I need you to bring back up Jeff, I guess, but... There we go. Didn't even full, fully heal up Pooh, but I, I guess that's fine. He whispered three. I don't know what's gonna happen there, but... Let's kill him before he gets to do whatever that is. Please. I'm hoping there's gonna be like a magic butterfly before I go where I need to go. I don't care. I don't care as long as I... Come on. Go just bash. Please kill it. And hurry, 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 hurry. Okay. Ooh, boy. A little tense, but... I gotta stay calm. I... I don't know. Oh, gee. oh, thank God. Oh, okay. Okay, and before I do that, uh... Everyone's health is... semi-decent. I'm not sure what to do, guys. Final star man, huh? I... Hmm... The regular Starman gave me, like, gave me troubles, and this one... I can only imagine. Does he have a shield, though? That's what I'm worried about. I guess we're gonna find out. Nice one, Paula. Nice one, Ness! Okay, I got... I got lucky there. 15,000. Paul, Paul's in level 75. Awesome by 1. Defense by 1. Speed by 1. Guts by 1. IQ by 1. HP by 2. PP by 1. Not the best, but I'll take it. Okay. Yeah, okay. I'll take that one. I was really surprised I was able to do that. <laughs> now, see? That is a... That's a bad combo. That is a ridiculously bad combo right there. Oh my god. Okay. Let's I'm I'm hoping that I'm going to be able to um defeat these guys with no issue. 
Oh, shoot. That's what I was worried about. Who hit? Does the Starman have it? Oh, God. Okay. All right. So he does. He does have the. Uh... Oh, my God in heaven. Okay. That wasn't good at all. thinking what I would like to do here. I need to take off his stuff. Like, I I need to bring him back. Now, who has a couple life noodles? I th think it's Paula. No! No! No, no, no! Game... Oh my god. 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 Okay. This isn't this isn't going to go well at all. Nope. I don't mortal damage. Yep. Nope. Nope. This isn't going... This isn't going good at all. I'm afraid to run away, too. Um... I don't know. This is, this is really bad. Please just kill it. Thank God. Like, I'm sorry, like, I'm not even sure what to say at this point, but... It's just... That... was... pretty bad. trying to get away from that other enemy because God knows I do not want to fight it. What what happened? Did I not use the right one? Okay. And you know what? We... I was really hoping not to use these items, but... I mean, screw it. I have them for a reason. In case crap was... <laughs> was gonna go down. And it's going down all right. I'm not trying to talk. It's like I'm, I am super discombobulated right now. I'm not going to lie. Like, I'm freaking out because it's like, if I'm having trouble here, what about the the final bot? Okay, so Piggy Jelly does not work for Pooh. Well, that's great to know. Don't know why not. Okay, is this it? Yes. This is it. This is it. This is where I where I know what I need to do. And where the things get really really odd. Not to say it hasn't been this the whole entire game has been really odd, but this is gonna... It's gonna take the cake. There's been so many theories and everything regarding all this. I guess I'll get into that during the credits. Alright guys, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be right back. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna double check everything and... Kind of calm my nerves and I'll be right back when, when I'm good and settled. Okay, guys, I think I'm as prepared as I'm going to be. I was just going over my my goods and just kind of prepping myself mentally for this. I've never done this before. I've always I've always heard of it. I've seen it here and there, so it's going to feel good doing this for myself. 
I wish I can say this was completely blind, this part, but, I mean, for the, for the vast majority of Earthbound, I did not know anything about it, but this, I knew. Yeah, it's kind of creepy, isn't it? There's stupid old Pokey. Ness, are you surprised? It's me, Pokey. I assist only the strong and able. That's Pokey. You guys look pathetic. The Apple of Enlightenment has already made a prediction, but I won't let what the Apple of Enlightenment predicted take place. You guys will be beaten by Gygus. Gygus will be stronger, a more powerful entity than any other. Why? Because of me. I was led by Gygus, and I now I'm here. The Apple of Enlightenment couldn't predict this. Master Gygus. Now Gygus is no longer the wielder of evil. He's become the embodiment of evil itself, which he cannot control on its own. He's the evil power. Here we go. Gygus and his cohort can... Well, fight. Now, the thing is, we can attack Gygus, or can attack the heavily armored Pokey. We are gonna only focus on Pokey for the time being. Because it doesn't matter what we do, we need... Gygus will just reflect everything back, so let's attack Pokey. Um, with Paula, I think we want to use the shield because that will deflect. He, I think, what's his name, has like a psychic ability, so let's go ahead and just do that. Jeff, this is why I brought these ball rockets. Do that. Who? Um, honestly, I. Don't want to use. I want to use Star Storm, but it's gonna attack everybody, so we're gonna use. I only want to go against Pokey. This music, though. This music, though. Here we go. God, this is so awesome and nerve wracking at the same time. That. Ow. Stop that. What? Can, can we. Okay. At least it was not too bad. Oh, God. Okay. Okay. I can stop that now. Oh, of course he dodged. Ooh, wow. Okay, I was expecting that thing to do a lot more damage, but, uh, I guess not. Um. Okay. Let's, let's just keep bashing. Paula, now I think we're okay. I need you to... Start going crazy on him. Jeff. Keep unloading those with those power or uh, multi ball rockets and then freezing. And if I feel like I'm not doing too well in terms of health, I will have somebody heal. Okay, solidified. Damn it. That that's what sucks. I may have to heal him next round. Or maybe I can go one more. Jeez. Okay. Decent. Um. Let's, let's, let's bash one more time. Hope for the best. We got, no, whoop, no, no, no. We want to use another multi-ball rocket on you. There we go. And freeze again. Deflected. Oh, crap. Okay, they disappeared. If I don't kill somebody at this point, then I might have to re re put it, uh, put it back on, or re enable it. Let's hope this is the last turn, though. Let's see. Right, that might have been it. Now I understand you guys are already claiming to be heroes. Well, it is a gazillion years too early for you to oppose Gygus. You must feel pretty stupid to keep fighting without even knowing what, what Gygus really looks like. If you were to ever see Gygus, you'd be so petrified with fear, you'd never be able to run away. That's how scary it is. So, do you want me to turn off the Devil's Machine? Well, then prepare to be amazed. So, isn't this terrifying? I'm terrified too. Gygus cannot even think rationally anymore. And he isn't even aware of what he's doing now. His own mind was destroyed by, the, by his incredible power. What an almighty idiot! Yep, 
That's what he is. <laughs> and you? You will be just another meal to him! Oh boy. Yep. Yeah, multi body rockets will not work right now anymore. This is where the creepiness starts happening. We gotta fight Gygus. We gotta go all out. Um, I'm not sure if I need to put on the shield or not, but we'll see. Actually, we'll do we'll do one turn of this. And then take things from there. I, mi I missed it. So that was actually Gygus talking right there. Okay. There we go. There we go. <laughs> you must be really at the end of your whole end of your rope. In this bizarre dimension, you're four you four are the only force fighting for justice. And here you stand, waiting to be burned up with the, all the rest of the garbage of this universe. Ha! That's so sad. I can't help but shed a tear. You know, my heart is beating incredibly fast. I must be experiencing absolute terror. Do you want to scream for help here in the dark? <laughs> Wanna call your mommy, Ness? Say, mommy, daddy, I'm so frightened. I think I'm gonna wet my pants. I know you have tel tel uh, telepathy or something, so you just try and call for help. You pathetically weak heroes of so-called justice. No one will help you now. <laughs> Don't worry, your pitiful suffering will be over soon. Oh God. Okay. Here, it doesn't matter if you hit him anymore. At least I don't think so. So at this point in time, we are switching over the healing duty. And remember that prey ability I never used? Use it now. Everyone else, I guess we're gonna defend. I probably should cast like the shields with Ness as well. Um, actually, you know what? You know what Jeff can do? Defense shower. Who? What do you have as well? Um, you can be on healing duty as well. But you also, you also have shields too. Okay, so... Alright, here we go. Expected by shield of light. Shield of light. Shield of light. Shield of light. Just in case. It hurts! It hurts! Okay. Oh crap, okay. That's why I have the have that. I should pray from bottom of heart. Please give us strength if it's possible. Please somebody help us. Oh god. It sends it sen kinda sends chills down your spine. I mean, when I say you have to pray, 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 just, you know, to survive, I'm not kidding. You need to pray. All of the Mr. Sands felt a new, startling feeling that they had never experienced before, and they all started praying for the safety of Ness and his friends. Oh god, okay. His defenses became unstable. And every time it does that, it gets it gets even creepier and creepier. Um it's only to one of them. You know, screw it. We'll, we're gonna we're gonna keep healing just in case. Paula, please keep praying. Jeff, um defense. And Pooh, uh, no, you can't really do much, can you? Alright, you just defend, buddy. Uh, uh, 
Yes, I'm happy. I want to say that. Anyone who can hear us? Anyone who can hear us? Please help us. I forgot the amount of times we had to pray for, but it is we got to do it a pretty numerous, good number of times. Suddenly, one of the Runaway Five felt something stop him, and he prayed fervently for the safety of Ness and his friends. Fifty-two of damage to Gygus. That's something. Oh, so I really didn't need to use that, but... Okay. We're good. Uh... I mean, I... I could keep using... You know... Not really sure. Just defend. Pray. We're gonna keep getting our defense up just in case and defend. It hurts! It hurts! Oh, I feel good. Mm -hmm. Solidified. Don't. Please don't be solidified. Okay. 14, 12, 11, 13. Thank God they're able to move. Oh, that sucks because there goes our, uh, you know, there goes our chance to pray right there. We're, we're going to keep doing this defense shower. Please give us strength. Speed this prayer to all the people of the earth. Uh, this is Tucson. That's uh, isn't that Paula's dad? Because that's that's the daycare her mother runs, right? And there they all are. Paula's father thought he, he somehow heard his daughter's voice and prayed sincerely for the safety of Paula and her friends. Engine four. There we go. Let's go back. Oh. Oh, freaking eight. Oh, don't do that. <laughs> um. Okay, so I need to need to get rid of that. Um. I forgot which one it is. I'll just use beta. Great. Jeff, don't do anything. <laughs> I feel good. I feel good. I'm happy. Oh, crap. There we go. Please give us strength. Anyone who can hear our plea, help us. Ah, uh, Jeff and his friends. How many times has it been? Four or five times I prayed? Come on, guys, we gotta pray. What do you mean? Just pray, dang it! Alright. Suddenly, Tony felt anxious about Jeff, and he prayed strongly for the safety of Jeff and his friends. Hundred and fifty six. Come on. Uh, I need to heal that whatever crap is going on, so Paula do nothing. Just pray. That's all that's all I care that you do. Um defend and well actually can't you heal him up? Actually what I want to talk about, you don't have a you only have three PP. Just defend then. It hurts, it hurts. It hurts, Ness. I mean, what do you want me to do about it? I mean, you're trying to kill us for, for the love of God. Come on. Please grant us power. Anyone who can hear our plea, help us. And that's, I've never done this before, so I'm not sure how long it takes, but we're getting there. We have, we have to go through like all these... Everybody associated. So it was Paula, Jeff, now Pooh, Runaway 5... Okay. Come on, come on, people of Dalam. Help Pooh and, and friends. 
A young woman in Dalam woke from a dream in which Prince Pooh died, and she began to pray for the well-being of Pooh and his friends. I'm hoping that dream will come true, trust me. 334. Numbness is gone. Okay. We are gonna need to heal everybody. Uh, Paul, pray again. Defend. Defend. You are... I wouldn't call this happy. It's not right, not right, not right, it's not right, not right, not right. Oh, I didn't even know he can cast, uh, ow. I didn't know he can cast thunder. But, like, there are so many theories regarding Gygus what's going on here. I'll explain it, I guess, in a little bit and when the credits roll, but... It's kind of disturbing. It is. Suddenly, Frank recalled Nessa's shining young face and began to pray digitally for the safety of Nessa and his friends. Frank was one of the first bosses we fought, we fought, wasn't it? Now, I wanted you guys to take, like, a look at the black outlines of Gygus. Tell me what you think it forms. That's just one of the theories that's, like, a little, like, what? Um... But, yeah, it's... It's a little insane. You know, we might as well also heal up Jeff. Pray. Defend. I don't want, I want to keep using a defense shower, but... Uh, I don't, want, I don't want to give... I don't think... I, well, actually, I don't think it matters. He called his friends. I don't think it matters if he... Even if he gives Gygus more... Uh, defense. I don't think it matters. Please grant us, please, yes, please, and stop crying, Paula. Paula is basically the, the most important character right now. I cannot have her dying. Mama, help us. Please. Get Trucy and Benji and help us. Pray for our safety. Oh. Where'd you come from? Uh, like, honey, I'm home from work. Actually, where is our father? Suddenly, Nessa's mother felt terribly uneasy, and she began to pray for her safety of her son and his friends. Seventeen hundred damage. We're getting there. Oh God. Yep, we are definitely getting there. Oh, God in heaven, I... This is... To, I, I do feel very uneasy, I'm not gonna lie, guys. Um, this is just... Creepy for me. Oh, he's... There you yelling out! Crap. Crap. Go. I can't think of anyone else. Someone, anyone, please help us! That's the thing, it's like, we, Paul's call is absorbed by the darkness. Now, do not let that worry you. Oh, crap. Alright, do you guys see? Look at that black outline. Look at what it's forming. But don't let that thing worry you. We are gonna, we need to keep praying. We need to keep praying. Someone, can you hear me? Please give us strength. Paul and her friend's calls touched the heart of... Oh. Paula prayed for the kids, or some play for the kids, having something. Three, almost 3,000 damage. Wow. 6,000. You're talking about me. Kept praying. Holy crap, look what I'm doing, guys! Pharaoh kept praying. 30,000 damage.
this. Now I... Well, it's gonna seem like I'm running away. Perhaps I'll just sneak away to, to another era to uh, think of another... about my next plan. It's a good bet we'll meet... we'll see each other again. All right, I'll be seeing you. So now which of us do you think is gonna... is the cool guy? Oh my god. Crap. I'll be right back, guys. I gotta close my door. I'm still watching this, though. God. Music. The music, the static. This I guess the symbology of this, and the symbolism, the symbology isn't the word, isn't it? I meant to say symbolism. The audio, audiology of all this. God, it, it produced so many theories. But... There we go, ladies and gentlemen. We just beat the final boss of the game. We have destroyed Gigas. Or Gigas. Whatever, however you like to feel like pronouncing it. But I never actually saw the ending ending. The war against Gygus is over. I saw that battle before what to do, but I don't know what happens here. I hope we don't end up dying, but then again, I, I can't... I wouldn't really put it past the game for it... for, for them to do that. No, we... I think that's our soul. One of, oh, there we go, there we go. I was like, please, what about the others? There's three in Ness. Come on, buddy. We gotta go home, man. I hope we have an extra red cap we can use, though. <laughs> oh, man. This... So it works. Our souls came back. That's insane. So it's all good. It's all good. It feels pretty dang awesome, guys, to, um... to do this. It really does. <laughs> To have finally beaten Earthbound after all these years. So, uh...
has only happened because of your great courage. Believe me, I went through a lifetime's worth of stress while you were gone. I just wish I could have come with you as a robot. I should have used the phase distorter. What a story that would have been. Scientists and four kids saved the world! <laughs> it was fun hanging out together. Zoom! Oh, 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 this breath is so good. A letter from kids inside. Okay, I'll, I'll let me grab these letters and then, or yes, they're all letters, and uh, I'll read them. Okay. Let's let's read. So, letter from kids. Dear Paula, how are you doing? I'm fine. I'm fine too. So are me. Me also. Me okay. Please come and play with us again at the Polestar Preschool. Oh yeah, and one more thing, bring us some presents if you have any. Sincerely, your friends at a Polestar Preschool. <laughs> and the letter from Mom. Dear Ness, how are you? Since you left home on your journey, things have changed around here. For example, I don't have as, as, many, as much laundry. <laughs> also, we don't seem to eat steak as much as we used to. I heard that you defeated some Universal Evil character. What was it? Googie or something like that? Well, that sounds really great. I want to hear all the details, so hurry home, okay? Tracy, Benji, and I are waiting for you. And don't worry about your father, I divorced him. <laughs> and finally, a letter from Tony. Dear Jeff, everything's really going great here. I wish I could have gone with you on your adventure, even just part of the way, but instead I'm sitting here waiting for you in winters. I want to see you I want to see you again as soon as possible. I can't wait to see your cheerful face. I bet your glasses are dirty. If you come back, I'll clean them for you. Like I said, I'm waiting for you, buddy. Yours truly, Tony. P.S. Don't show this letter to anyone. Pfft, don't wait. That's odd. You're gonna clean my glasses for me? It was in winters when we last met, right? I just got here. Tee hee hee. Wow. Well, you you finished your journey too, Mouse. I think new things, difficult things from now. Happy boing! More day happy ding ding! Much more happy! Boom! Happy zoom! Okay, so... I guess we just have to escort Paula back home. But somebody did tell me there are like a very few post stuff Post game stuff I'm gonna do, and I don't know what the hell they are. And F it, I'm gonna look it up just to see what I can do really quick because this is the finale. I want to do whatever I can before I finish this game fully, so I'll be right back, guys. Okay, I looked up. Th there's little stuff you can do. Basically, I can visit any place I want in the game now. I'm not sure if there's enemies. I doubt. Actually, there is one. If I, if you go back to the Summers Museum where the Shattered Man was. Apparently there is another fight, but uh, if you lose that fight, it's an infinite death screen, so I'm not about to do that. Uh, you guys can look it up yourself. <laughs> uh, but apparently you can, we can give um, we can give this letter from Tony to Jeff for something something to happen. Ness, you've read it already. That Tony has a heart of gold. I guess that I guess that was it. So let's see here. Apparently, here's something we can do. Um, I'm trying to think how how do I want to do this? Teleport beta, and we're, we want to go to Tenda Village. Because remember that book that we got, so they can overcome their shyness. That book might be overdue or something. Oh, and the music just... The entirety of the music stays the same. Hi! He smiles. Welcome! To this far, take a rest on journey. Who has a book? I think it was a chief. This book overcoming his shyness was very helpful to us. We've kept it for a long time, but I'll return it now. Thank you very much. We got the shyness book. We're living in peace now in a wide variety of lifestyles. Thank you very much. So we can actually use that. And we can return it. But before we even do that, um, we are going to, oh, I had to go back outside, excuse me. Uh, apparently, I can visit the cafe in Foresight to see something kind of funny. So let's go ahead and do that really quick as well. So I gotta go to Foresight. Uh... 
I'm not really sure what else I need. Then like I can do a couple things. I can return a book and own that, and of course I got I can drop Paula off. I'll do I'll do that as like one of the very last things. I'm dropping dropping Paula off. So I think the cafe is up here. Or I'm wrong. I thought the cafe was on the top left. Well, fine. I'm not drinking the. I hate these hiccups. Yes, sir. Another cappuccino here. Oh, wait, where's the cafe at? Or is it is this building right here? There. Okay, I knew it was like somewhere on top left. Yeah, there's. Yep. He's here. Wee! Yes. Pokey left me. His own dad just disappeared. If you see him, tell him that he should take better care of his father. Don't tell my wife and own that that I've been spending my time here. <laughs> Good evening, hero. How about an espresso? No, thank you. Hey, long time no see him. I thought, I thought of a new joke since before. Knock, knock. Who's there? Say, Sawyer. Sawyer who? Sawyer, you're doing well. I'm fine, too. Saw you're doing well. That's terrible. That's... Shut up. You know, no, I don't think it's funny. I really thought this would be funny to you. Now my self-confidence is totally shot. Back to therapy. And hey, good. <laughs> the hint I gave you was critical to helping you win. Happy, happy! We rock! I, I don't know if it was, to be quite honest with you. So, now, let's, let's go ahead and go to, um... Let's go Onet. Because we want, I want to visit a burger shop, because apparently somebody's there. And we can turn a book, and apparently we can buy a house. Uh... So in that case, I don't know if it matters, but we're, we're, we, I, I want to take all my money out. Dad, that's a lot of money for a kid to have. <laughs> Alright, so that's the max amount of money we can have, period. I, I didn't realize that, but um, I forgot we only had, yeah, it was only five digits. So where's the, where's the burger shop? Oh, it's just down here. Come on! <laughs> apparently, so I, I got visit burger shop, and apparently there's also a um, that's the bakery. Crap! Oh no, it's up there. Excuse me. Um, so I visit burger shop, return a book in the library, and supposedly there's like a house I could have bought. Oh, I was like, what happened? I, I could have bought, and uh, I don't know where exactly that's at, but I kind of want—I kind of want to take a look. Ah, <laughs> uh, there he is. It's Frank. Oh, sir, how may I help you? Uh, aren't you Ness? After a battle, I became serious, and I've been working very hard. I've been even doing some training for him. For uh, well, a little bit of pro wrestling. It's a ring of me, baby. So you made it back alive. He must have many stories to tell. Let's get together for a drink when you have a choice, so when we have a chance, so I can hear your stories. I'm talking about drinking minimal, minimal, mineral, mineral water. I'm still under age, you know. Dang, you are. You look like you're 50. It seems like I'm always here. I hope you don't mind. It's so much more relaxed now. They never asked me what would you like with fry. Would you like fries with that shake? Don't you think you get more of that food value out of 14 bucks worth of burgers and 8 bucks worth of french fries? You feel better? Okay, I don't care. Yeah, I, I don't need to know this anymore. I beat the game. I'm done with you. Shut up. Um... So go, let's go ahead and return the book. If she's in a good mood, leaving the library will kiss you. Oh, pff, okay. <laughs> she's in a good mood. Uh... Here you go. Finally, you've kind of returned a book. Seems like you finished it. You're such a good boy. As a reward, I'll give you a kiss. Mm. Well. I guess she was in a good mood, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> now. Apparently, there's a house I can buy in Onet. I don't know where it is, but, uh... This isn't it, is it? No. It could be. And I, I, can, I end the game if I go to go. Uh, if I go back home, I believe. So. Um. I guess. 
Like, what? what is that little thing? Uh, is that a sign next to our house? Okay, so I do see a couple houses right here in the bottom. I, can I buy one of those? Because I honestly don't remember... I honestly don't remember any house for sale. You're the hint guy. Uh, I'm kind of tempted just to say I'll be back when I find this freaking house, but, uh... Are you nest? My son said something about going to a hideout. No, yeah, no, I know all about it. That's where I got one of my very first pretty decent items. Oh, there's people living here. <laughs> hey, can I buy your house, please? Um, so there's these couple of houses, but once again, I don't think these are the ones for sale. You expect to be like a sign out front or something, so I don't think these are it. Let me check to the left side, and you know what? I could have sworn, wasn't there like another thing to like to the to the left of Onet? I don't think I ever went back there. I quickly I quickly looked into it, or I I, I went I went on the screen. I'm like, mm, nah, screw it. Um, I don't know if it's here or. Yeah, like this, right here. I don't think I've ever been here before. Even if you're poor, come and see how easy it is to own a luxurious second home. I, yeah, this I never did. I must be the happiest man in the world. I can practice my trumpet in the scenic spot. I'll send my haunting melody throughout the town. Oh, well, thanks for ruining the music now. Doesn't this house look good? You can buy for only seven... <laughs> I wish I could buy a house for that much. I'm sure I can, but it'll be totally run down and probably in a really bad neighborhood. There's an ocean view and the sunsets are beautiful. Folks around here have a place of their own. Do you want to buy it? Hell yeah, I want to buy it. Shoot, I'm a kid. I'm going to have my own house. Thank you. It's all yours now. Take some time to relax. Hey, you've got your own place now. Can you, can you get out? I want, I want to visit my house. <laughs> oh my god, guys. I have my own home. It looks like crap. So if, are we gonna find out more about this guy? This is the most. This is the character I'm, I'm most intrigued about. <laughs> Just randomly coming from the sky and taking a picture of us. Maybe we will. Maybe maybe that's our dad. So still seventy five thousand dollars for an old magazine. Sure, I'm gonna read it. My Secret Life, Chapter 3, story from the previous chapter. It, will neither, it was neither a murder suspect nor a target for an international spy organization. But I drove a car down the Jersey t Turnpike at 80 miles an hour. A police officer pulled me over and asked for, for my driver's license. He said I was going 20 over the speed limit. I instantly pointed to my wife and said, I'm in a hurry, my wife is in labor. Fortunately, my wife actually had a big stomach. Wow, I hope he let me go with this excuse. Oh, since it's an emergency, I'll lead you to the hospital for my police car, he said. No, it's not necessary. Why not, asked the officer. Uh, well, let's get going, said the police officer. No, no, we can't. This baby's a demon child. That, that's a perfect, perfect example, so, or a perfect excuse. So he wasn't lying when he said it was an ocean view. And really, buying house for $7,500 and then fixing it up for profit? I don't know. That might, it might be a decent deal. But if it's only a one, one room house, then that maybe might not be the best thing ever. But, uh, okay, so... I think, really, that's all there was, guys, for me to, like, to show you. And I guess... Apparently, there might be some of like, those photo locations. It, it's not random. It's if you go to a certain spot, the guy will come and take a picture of you. I'm not sure where every single one of them is at. I'm not even sure which ones I grabbed. But if you guys want, you can probably look it up and get all those right now if you want to. Um, but really, I don't think it's necessary. So, let's go ahead and go to Tucson. Or Tucson, whatever. And then we will go back home and finish the game. It feels weird, guys. I'm not gonna lie. It feels pretty dang weird that I'm done with the game. Uh, Chaos Theater Runaway 5. It bring and this brings back memories. It does. Simply because, you know, since I started this LP back 
god no like last year i can say that um it kind of probably takes me back to like all the stuff i saw when i first played i'm like cool and look, I, isn't that me when i was a kid I just used a different sprite he's smiling well i'm glad Ness, thank you for escorting me home there was something i wanted to tell you but i've forgotten it i'm sure i'll remember by the time i see you again well i guess this is it goodbye uh, so long. See ya. Bye. Come on. I mean, keep going back and back and back, you know, back and forth there. Um, can I say anything to her as I... from here? When I grow up, I want to be just like Paula. I don't know. See, I don't know if these, are, if these kids are saying the same thing. Thank you for saying, Paula, you're my hero. And I, th I think they said the same thing. Oh, can I talk to her parents? You've lost some weight since I last saw you, Ness. Paula must have quite an adventure. I'm glad you live so close to us. Why don't you drop by my, more often? I'm working at making better steak. Uh, listen, there's, I'm not, you're not going to make better steak than my mother, so... Simple as that. Let's... Well, I guess that's it, guys. We're... we're it's just, uh, just us. End the game at level 50, 84. I'm sure I can eat, could easily went to level 99, but... There's no point. <laughs> there really isn't. So go crazy. Just go going to the right, and away I go. <laughs> kind of, kind of zoom to the right. Uh, all right. Lit. Let us go back home. Just don't know where though. Uh, but here it is. <laughs> oh man. I'm happy. I decided. I decided to. Uh, to. Initially, I'll play the game, and then finally come back to it after, like, a six-month hiatus, probably even more. Here, here we are, back home. You know what? For the hell of it. Can we, yeah, why not? Can't we? I hate your dad to get the next level. Haha, <laughs> I guess I don't need to tell you this anymore. Next week will be your birthday, Ness. I'm trying very hard to be... That's kind of creepy, because my birthday, my birthday physically is next week. Well, actually, it's in a week and two days, so that's that kind of freaked me out for a bit. I'm trying very hard to be home for that big day. I'll be sure to get you a good present. I've been following your adventures closely, but I want to hear about them from you in person. You sound a lot more mature over the phone. Well, I'll see you home then. Bye! And... Hello, this is Mock Pizza. Our delivery man got tired and quit. <laughs> So we did. We decided to close the shop. Thank you for cons consistently using us for all your pizza needs. By consistently means never, because I don't think I ever called. <laughs> Yo, this is the late, the lazy cowpoke stop and go. Yeah, we're a new truck stop. We just opened. What's that? The Stoa Club. That lame old place shut down ages ago. We told it we mod the place. Now I've got loud music, great food, and really rowdy crowds. Listen, buddy, I'm too busy to talk to you right now. Just drop by anytime. You come, you, you come, you enjoy. I promise. That's nah, fine. Other dogs haven't quite figured it out yet, but I know that you guys saved the world. Thank you. And I, before we talk to our mother, talk to Chusey here. Tracy. Goody, my brother's back. We got we got a lot of cashing up to do with your homework. For schoolwork. Hork. Is this really like a snickering? If you have any problems with your assignments, I'll help you. Don't get freaked out. Did Scargo Express my old company help you? I saved some money, so we'll do the lunch thing sometime. Feels like a new girlfriend? Your adventures have been pretty good. Do you need help with anything other than your schoolwork? Sure. What do you want me to do? No, I don't need any of this. I have to take care. You just let it out of my mouth. Just like I was talking to you when you were gone. <laughs> or do I do I go back in my room to end the game? No? Okay. I guess, uh, I guess we'll talk to our mother, then. Oh, boy. Wow, you've become such a strong young man. I'd like to hear all your stories, but I don't want to annoy you as soon as you walk through the door. After all your chats of people you met on your adventure are finally over, please come back here. The photo man brought an album by. I'd like to look at it with you. Oh, so, okay, so she is the last person I want to go to. So it's kind of like telling me, are you sure you went in the game? The photo man came by. That's kind of creepy. Did you finish doing everything you wanted to? I think so. Okay, now you can finally share your incredible experience with me. You did so well! <laughs> is, that, is this it? 
Or he's gonna be marching in place. How come Ness never looks happy? Smile, buddy, you saved the world! And that, ladies and gentlemen, has been Earthbound. Got a little cast going on. Um, Aloysius Minch, how was his name? Vlardna. Okay, that, that <laughs> kind of fits, doesn't it? And Buzz Buzz. Good old Buzz Buzz. Lie or exaggerate, Frank. But, uh, yeah, you guys can read this or and watch this go by as I give my final thoughts and opinions about this game. It's, uh, it's fun. I mean, I can't believe, like, you know, such a cult following and being so... It's, oh, I thought I said... I thought I was our dad for, for, for a second there. I was like, oh, fine, I can see him. Um, But, like, I'm surprised like, I'd never played the game before. And I remember when, when I was first... Not really complaining about the game, but, like, saying, what the hell is this? That, this is odd. You know, people are saying, oh, Pharaoh, you gotta realize this Earthbound. But it's like... You gotta realize where I'm coming from with this. I've never experienced a game before. I've never seen the game to its entirety before. Besides, like, the only thing I really knew about the game was the character, Ness, and the final area, the or fighting Gygus. That was the only thing I knew about it. The rest of the experience was totally new, so it's like, of course it's gonna be freaking me out or totally confusing, but it was an interesting experience anyway. Um... So, I really did enjoy myself. In terms of RPGs go, it's it's really fun. It, it is a little difficult, at least in my opinion. Um, certain areas are a lot easier than others, and you, you might feel overpowered. But then, when you get to a another area, it's like, holy crap, hold on a minute. Mainly dealing with those star men and those robots, those, those are not fun. Um, but, you know, hey, we got through it all, and... Uh, I'm happy with how things turned out. Talarama, I how come I don't remember that character? Ah, uh, not totally. Oh yeah, he owns the building. I forgot. And their Pokey just keeps going everywhere. And <laughs> Venus is seeing room. And why did Pooh show up so dang late? Simply Pooh's master and the Star Master. Oh yeah. Okay. So. Really, if you guys never played a game before, look it up. Or, yeah, something. And I know the origin, like, you know, like, this game started off as simply Mother. Well, because this is Mother 2. I never mentioned this. This is part of the Mother series. This is Mother 2. It's really series Earthbound. We never got Mother 1, or just Mother, which really sent a Famicom, so it never came out here. All, all those NPCs. Uh, and then Mother 3 never came out here as well, and that was for the Game Boy, the Game Boy Advance, I believe. If you guys are going to ask me, like, am I going to play those games, I honestly don't know. I love how they say Dad is the phone. That's amazing. <laughs> um, but I, I, I honestly cannot give you an answer if I'm ever going to play Mother 1 or Mother 3. We'll have to see about that, but for right now, I'm just happy I beat Earthbound, period. And it makes me wonder if they ever will decide to make a new one. I think that would be pretty freaking awesome. Can you imagine if they decided to, like, remake Earthbound? Actually, do you, no, they did that. Dear, I think people will probably cry. People cried when they announced the Final Fantasy VII remake, or Kingdom when they initially announced Kingdom Hearts 3. Or even, uh, as he took a picture of me, that'd be kind of creepy if my face shows up now. This is where editing would be awesome if I showed my face, but, um, meh. Uh, what else was there? But yeah, I, so people cried when they, when those two games were, even, or even Shenmue 3 was officially announced. People cried. So, if they announced that, like, an Earthbound remake or straight-up sequel for, like, modern consoles is coming out... Oh my god. Like, because, like, the Switch is coming out as in time, at the time it's recording. It's coming out, like, in a month or so. And, um... Can you imagine, like, if they, if they announced that the Switch will be... Everybody would buy one. 
I mean, and the thing is, like, even, even regarding the Switch, ah, uh, Satoru Iwata, may he rest in peace. Uh, so basically, they're, they're showing pictures of every of all the spots that we've been to so far. That's pretty cool. So yeah, we can enjoy a member. We can enjoy our uh, our journey one last time. This kind of does remind me of Final Fantasy 15. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say about that. I'm not gonna spoil too much, but it just reminds me of Final Fantasy 15. Um. But, you know, so yeah, like the Switch is coming out in a few weeks, or close to a month, and you know, really, I'm not sure what to think about it. Like, I was, I'm tempted, you know, to grab it, but really, it's like, I really don't need another, don't need a new console, and my, my PS4 is still relatively new, I got that like a few months ago, and I'm super happy with it. Um, uh, but like, the Switch is like... At least the lineup they have so far, I'm not, it's like, I don't have anything that's really exciting me. I will say the only thing, and I'm sure, like, this goes for a lot of people that I'm really looking forward to, is uh, Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. And that's very odd coming from me. Oh, Paula was dead in that picture, apparently. Um, but it's very odd coming from me because I am not a Zelda fan. I never really played any of the games. Only when I played in beat was a uh, link between worlds I absolutely love that game and, like I've hundred percent I think I beat it twice it was so much fun I don't know like why I got so hooked to it and that this was about two two years ago maybe or is it three I can't remember I think it was actually it might have been two years ago um and I, I Absolutely enjoyed it, loved it. Um, so, like, that's the... But, like, looking at the trailers and looking at, like, some of the gameplay, it actually looks very interesting. Especially that trailer they revealed at the at the press conference where they showed... It was, like, the, the Switch press conference, so they showed how much it was going to be and all that. That trailer was insane. Like, I got, I got chills down my spine. I was like... Because it reminds me of, like, Shadow Colossus and just... I'm sure it's not what, that's not how the game's gonna be at all, but it just looks freaking awesome. So, if I ever got a Switch day one, which I highly doubt I will, I will most likely just get that. Everything else I'm not really fond of. ARMS looks fun, but I want to be able to play that with somebody. And like, once you Switch, that looks more like a gimmick game. Um, so, yeah, I don't know, it's just... The lineup's not really great, at least for the launch. And the, so the only two games I'm really looking forward to are probably Breath of the Wild and then Super Mario Odyssey. That's really about it. I have to learn more about the console and as as it, as it goes on in its lifetime to see if it's even worth it, really. Because um, I was also interested in getting the Wii U, but it's like that console really just really did come and go. It's like, it sucks, I mean, because apparently there are really good games for it, like Bayonetta 2, the, the, uh, the Wonderful 101, uh, 3D World, you know, there, there's a good chunk of awesome games for it, but it's like, eh, no. <laughs> <sighs> so, um, I'm not, I'm not, yeah, I'm not really sure. The Switch, I, it, it might be... That was kind of creepy. I miss you too, I guess? Um... The Switch, it, it, it can go either way, really. And you can say about anything. And Player Pharaoh, because I was the one who, who gave the last couple of, uh... Prayers to finish up Gygus. Why, thank you, game. I had fun. I'm not gonna lie. Hopefully, hopefully the viewers, hopefully you all had fun as well. Watching me fumble around this game so many times. And I really do hope you all enjoyed yourself. Um, I'm happy that I actually finally went through and finished the game. I do apologize still for the huge hiatus I took on this game. I always, I always say, and will continue to do so as long as I keep LPing, is if I start a game, I'm going to finish it. Unless there is some, some type of really weird 
circumstance. And that only has happened like once with uh with um Metal Gear Solid 2 because of the copyright claims. Okay, there's more going on here. Hello, it's your dad. You've been out there for a long time now. You may you, it may be not my business, but don't you think it would be a good idea if you took a break? I guess so. All right, you should find a place to stay near town. When you get to the hotel, be sure you keep an eye out for the bad guys. Whoa. What? Wait a minute. Hold on a minute, guys. What the hell is happening here? No way. No, wait. It's... What's going on? Somebody's knocking the door. What an annoying knock. This, it can't be. Poking my land. Who would be knocking this at, at this time of night? Would you answer it? Wait. It can't... No. I got fleas sucking me dry, so I'm just gonna lie still for now. It, please don't tell me the game... Just... Wow. No, oh, wait, no. Okay, that's not Pokey. Dear God. Okay, so this is new stuff. I was, I was about to end the game. I'm like, uh, is, is this seriously New Game Plus with all our stuff already? That seems weird. A letter right from my brother Pokey. It's addressed to you, Ness. There's no stamp, and it's no no time for the mailman to come. Anyway, I brought it over. It says, come and get me, loser. Spankity, spankity, spankity. I wonder where he is. The end? <laughs> wow. That confused me. <laughs> Are we done? Yeah, we're done. Can't do anything else. Pushing all the buttons. Okay, Earthbound, you, you decided to throw one weird curveball at me. So, th see this. Now imagine if you were playing this game back in 94, 95, whenever hell this game came out. You're like, oh my god, they're gonna make it another one! And, you know, they eventually did. You know, they made Mother 3, and, um... It just came out many years later. Came out for the Game Boy Advance, and it only came out in Japan. <laughs> now... Oh god, I don't know, guys. <sighs> I'll say this. If you guys don't know, Mother 3 was the very first... LP I came across about it's going to be eight years ago in the summer so in a few like in four or five months or maybe half a year and I forgot I forgot it was sometime during the summer summertime of 09 I uh, came across my very first LP and it was Mother 3 by Nintendo Capri Sun and he did it about a year prior to that, I believe. And that LP got me hooked into the whole concept of what I'm doing now. Wouldn't you believe it? Um, so although I saw the game fully, Mother 3, that was the last time I saw it, was eight years ago. So even if I decided to play Mother 3, which, do not get your hopes up, I'm telling you right now, I don't know. Uh, if I ever decide to do Mario 3, it would still be kind of semi-blind. Because I forgot where you go, and I forgot most of the story. I know, I, I think I know, like, the very important parts. And I think I know the ending, which... Yeah. Um, so, that kind of sucks in that aspect, but... If I ever still decide to play it, it will kind of be a fun experience regardless. But once again, don't get your hopes up. And there goes my dog, Benji, going barking... <laughs> But, uh, yeah, uh, I guess this is it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you all so much for watching this, I, I, I gotta, I gotta say. Um, and thank you guys for being patient with me and getting this game going. I know it's been put on hiatus for so long, I probably could have finished this months and months ago. Could have finished it last year, but, uh, yeah, I just, I got hooked on a zero time dilemma, and then I got, um, then... You know, so I put that away, and then by the time Zero to Time Limit was done, Spirit of Justice was almost coming out, was almost coming out and you know, the rest is history. So... With this, though, 
I feel like I can finally go to other projects I've been meaning to do for a long time as well. And this is also one of the final LPs I'm doing. On the, hold on, don't don't get freaked out. It's one of the final LPs I'm doing on my old computer. Uh, I've I have I have this new computer I've built a little while ago, and um, I simply decided to hold off on doing any type of recording with it until I'm done with the project I currently have going on now, and that's simply Earthbound and uh, Spirit of Justice. So once those two are done, I will be officially migrating over to my new PC, which will allow me to do a lot more games, a lot better quality, 60 frames per second for anything PC, and render at awesome, like, I don't have to wait two hours for these videos, like, like for especially like this, 720p, 60 frames per second, it takes me two hours for maybe like a 30 minute video, and I hope I can bring that down to, you know, 20, 25 minutes regarding how long the video is on my new PC. Hopefully, we'll see. So, as usual, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you guys for whatever the hell I plan to do. All whatever I blah, plan to do next. I'll see you guys later.